What is good, everybody? Today, we're back with brand new WWE action figure news. And this news, you know, I feel like coming out of San Diego Comic-Con, we were kind of, you know, it was kind of dry. It's been dry for a little bit, right? It's been a little bit dry as we got so much revealed to us at San Diego Comic-Con as we always do. But as we approach the August month or as we approach the end of August here, we actually did get a bit of news over the last couple of weeks. Yesterday, we had a big news video. If you guys missed that video, definitely check it out. But today, we're back with even more news. And I'm pretty interested in it. I think we got some wacky stuff going on here today. Day, and we're going to dive into all of it, man. So buckle the hell up. Let's get into it, man. Ringside Collectibles, they put up a lot of pre-orders, and we'll get into what exactly they put up in just a moment. We'll dive into everything in this video. I'll talk about what's up for pre-order and everything. But one thing that I found very, very interesting is we got some different things revealed to us, and we're going to dive into that, talk about it, man. From the Vault Series, from the Vault Series 4 has been revealed on what the characters are going to be. And we don't know every single detail of this Ringside Exclusive from the Vault Series number 4, but we do have a lot of information on it. And we have a brand new chase figure that we're going to talk about that was announced as well that we didn't know about. This was something we didn't know about. So let's go ahead and dive into it, man. From the Vault Series number four, let's start with the first figure that's going to be featured in this set. And this set is actually up for pre-order right now on Ringside Collectibles. If you guys are interested in this set and a lot of other things that are going to be discussed in this video, definitely go over to Ringside Collectibles. Use promo code MDTOYS to, to pre-order these things. Save yourself some money when doing the pre-order process. You might as well get that 10% in there. I always greatly appreciate when you guys use the code, of course. But let's dive into it, man. From the Vault Series number four, starting out with the first figure. This one, there's a couple figures. Actually, I actually this whole wave might annoy the hell out of me, and we'll get into all that, man. This set right here is just baffling to me, and we'll get into it. Well, I, yeah, I don't know. You just hear me out. Just listen to my points, and then you can let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Starting out the top, man, from the Vault Series number four is going to be Torn Pet Cody. Now, we know a lot, a lot of you should know. If you didn't know, this was probably, probably last year, the hottest figure of the year last year. A very great figure. I think it came in on number two, I think in my countdown of best figures of the year. I really do love this Cody. I think it's so good. It's so pretty much perfect. I've always talked about, you know, that head sculpt that they use on this figure, how it's so, it looks so much like Cody. It's the best Cody head sculpt. And so I really do enjoy the Torn Pet Cody. I love the matchup. I love the memory of it, the moment, the figure, the attire, everything about it, I think is so sick. And I think it's such a, it's a perfect defining moment figure that was used in that first go around. So putting that here in the From the Vault Series 4, the only thing I don't like is that this is not from the vault, I don't think. I think that, you know, from the vault, I think of figures that not only are highly sought after, but things that haven't been out in a while. You know, you think about, I think, doesn't Disney do some sort of From the Vault series that they used to with their VHS tapes and DVDs back in the day? Didn't they used to say From the Vault or something like that, if, as, if my memory serves me correctly? And it would be like the 20th year anniversary or whatever, and they would reveal this fake. Now, obviously, Mattel hasn't had the license for 20 years. It's not too, too far off. But, you know, I, I, I would imagine that I don't think it's been enough time for this figure to be From the Vault. Now, we've mentioned this in the past with some other figures. We've seen through the first four series there have been some weird wacky inclusions and there's been some really awesome inclusions but I felt like this was one of the ones kind of like Paul Heyman from series two. It's like this figure was just out so that's kind of my only gripe with it. It is a great figure. I know it's highly sought after and I know it is a business at the end of the day. It's just, I, this would not be something that I would include in the vault this soon. But I know that it's going to be red hot. People are going to want this figure, and I guess it does make sense. It's kind of a top picks town. You know, it's kind of like a top talents figure in the sense that people are going to want this figure. I understand that. It's just, I don't know, it's kind of annoying uh, uh, from a guy who really wants to see new figures included. So, And I know that's not what From the Vault series is, but we have seen them tweak these figures and stuff. This just wouldn't be the choice that I would have picked, but... I do enjoy this figure a lot, and I am uh, probably going to get another one, you know. And maybe they'll change it up. Maybe they'll make it pinless this time around, or maybe something like that. We'll have to see. But the next figure in this set is going to be Razor Ramon. And this Razor Ramon, if you go to the Ringside Collectibles website and you check out the description of this figure, it does tell you what it is. It says purple. It says Razor Ramon purple, which leads me to believe that this would be the defining moments Razor Ramon Elite. Now, I think that this wouldn't be a big deal if we didn't already have the Ultimate Edition Chase. Now, I know what you're thinking. It's like, okay, well, that figure was pretty sought after, but an Ultimate Edition of this figure does exist. Now, while it is harder to come by, I feel like majority of people that would want this figure would probably prefer the Ultimate Edition over the Elite. Now, we've seen something similar where in the Defining Moments line, they did LA Knight, and then they made an Ultimate Edition LA Knight that's very similar to the Defining Moments. And it's just, I mean, I guess they would know better than me, right? I don't know exactly how sales work, and I don't know what their numbers are behind the scenes. But 
I don't know. It's just another one of those things that I'm just like, really? Is this the one you would pick? I think that, you know, the blue attire, the Legends figure, wasn't released too, too long ago, but that was a single jointed figure. We are getting another Razor Ramon in the yellow attire in the Monday Night War set coming soon. And we also saw Razor in the flashback exclusive. Now, if I were picking the Razor, if Razor had to be included in this set, I would pick the From the, not the From the Vault series, you goofball. I would pick the flashback Walmart exclusive that is in that floral shirt with the pink pants. I think that's the one that I would have chosen, but what the hell do I know? You know, I, I don't know exactly what they're thinking there, but this is going to be the defining moments, Razor Ramon. So you're looking at two figures. Now, this is a full re-release line. We know this. It's just a figure that we have kind of already seen re-released, and that's kind of where I'm like, oh, I don't know, man. I felt like they could have done something different here. So this isn't necessarily greatest hits, right? So you kind of have to take that into account. I understand what they're thinking there. And the Ultimate Edition, again, was a chase, and it was pretty highly sought after. So I could see that, but this is not going to be an Ultimate Edition. This is an Elite. This is from the Vault series, and it's going to be an Elite figure. So it will be based on that Defining Moments figure that we saw. And that was a while back. I understand that. And the Razor figures are good. It's just not, uh, not probably not the Razor that I would have chosen if, if Razor had to be included here. Now, let's move into the next figure in the set, which is going to be Bray Wyatt. Now, Bray Wyatt, we did recently just see in the Elite 112 series, which was originally going to be in the Greatest Hits line, which also was going to be re-released there. So this is a figure that is interesting. Now, there's a couple ways you could look at this. We just recently got this figure in Elite 112, and it looks like it's not too much different than the Elite 112 based on the render here, or based on this little pre-order image. And all of the pictures that these figure, every single picture that is featured on this pre-order thing is what the figure is based on. Cody's the Torn Peck, Razor, and then you have uh, the last figure in the set, and you have this Bray Wyatt. They're all representations of what the figures are going to be if you look at Ringside Collectibles' website. Now, Bray Wyatt, it doesn't necessarily tell you any description about the figure. It just says Bray Wyatt. You go over there, it says Bray Wyatt, WWE from the Vault, Ringside Exclusive Series 4, and then when you click on there, it doesn't have any descriptors. It doesn't say purple. It doesn't have anything. Now, his image on the website is a more modern Bray Wyatt, but they're not going to do that, right? This is going to be, I would imagine that it's probably going to be an, either an Elite 54 re-release or it could be one of his previous Elites, like an Elite 28, an Elite 36, maybe even the best of pay-per-view in the red pants or the maroon style pants. So there's a few different options they could choose there. I, I hope that it's not the Ringside Collectibles exclusive Bray Wyatt, like the Firefly Funhouse one. That figure was very bummerific, a terrible Bray Wyatt figure. I don't think that they would pick Elite 85 either. That figure was not from the vault. That figure was kind of a kind of shelf worn pretty badly. So I don't know. We'll we'll have to see there. I don't want to see the Ringside Collectibles exclusive Firefly Funhouse Bray Wyatt because that figure was so bad. They need to. We never really got you know the basic. We talk about the basic a lot. The basic with the sweater. They need to redo that figure in an Elite. And I know that that Ringside Collectibles exclusive Firefly. Funhouse Funhouse Bray Wyatt was essentially supposed to be the Firefly, you know, it was supposed to be our good representation of that, but he didn't have khakis on, he didn't have the collared shirt, it just looked like he had a painted on, like, Under Armour Pro Combat shirt that he would wear underneath his football pad, so it just looked like, I don't know, it didn't look good, man, so that is a figure that I hope it wouldn't be, but I guess we'll have to see, I don't know what it is, it doesn't say green pants, it doesn't say anything like that, which you would think, you know, they would probably give you a descriptor, but he is wearing the apron, in the image that it shows. So I'd imagine it's probably going to be a Wyatt family, Bray Wyatt. Maybe it'll come with a rocking chair and different things. But if I had to if, if I had to bet money on it, I would bet that it's going to be Elite 28 or Elite 36. But we will have to see about that. But the last figure in the set is going to be Ultimate Warrior. Now this one, this one's nutty, man. This one's kind of nutty because if I'll break down the lore for you here. It says on Ringside Collectibles that it's going to be a WrestleMania 6 faded paint. So this does lead me to believe that it's going to be a figure that we have already seen multiple times over, okay? If you if you know anything, man, you know that we have seen the WrestleMania 6 Ultimate War. Saw it in the Fan Takeover Ultimate Edition. Even though we saw it in that random re-release Elite line back in the day. If you guys remember that one offset that was like an Elite re-release wave that had a bunch of different figures in it. I think it was a, it was just a random re-release wave. I can't remember the exact wave, but it was a re-release. And then you go back to the original figure. It was originally a Legends figure. Then it got re-released in that re-release line. So we'd already seen it twice. Then we got it in Ultimate Edition form. So now if this figure comes out, this will be the fourth time we have seen this released as an action figure in, in the line. So that, that it's absolutely ridiculous, but it does say faded paint. So what I'm thinking is they're probably going to do the same figure 
but it'll probably be, you know, his torso. If, if you look at the end of the match, his paint was pretty much completely washed. So are they going to put the Ultimate Edition 15 Ultimate Warrior head sculpt where it's post-match? Are they going to put that head sculpt onto this body and then remove the chest paint and include the two titles? They could do that. They may, they may go for that. They may go for a two-in-one style deal like that and have it where it'll be a little bit different. It'll try to bring in somebody that already has the pre-match, and then they'll want the post-match, right, where he's holding up both titles, has the matted, wet hair, whatever, and then you'll have that there. That's what I would guess. If I had, if I was fantasy booking it or guessing, that is what I would guess, but who the hell knows, Brad? You never know. You never quite know with the Mattel line, but that is exactly what I'm perceiving this to all be, obviously, when we get into it. But the last bit of news that I want to talk about is in Elite Series 113, we do know that CM Punk is coming. We know that CM Punk is coming. You look at this wave. You have Carlito, Kofi Kingston, Tiffany Stratton. That looks nothing like Tiffany Stratton. You have Dragon Lee. You have Trick Williams. And you have the Macho Man Punk. We do know about this wave. We did not, however, know that there is a Chase variant CM Punk in this wave. Now, there's a lot to unpack with that because we know that Carlito was originally set as the Chase, but apparently CM Punk is also getting a Chase in this wave. This is not something that we knew about. So, if you go to Ringside Collectibles' website, it's already on back order, unfortunately. I was very late to the party, very busy yesterday. Didn't get to see any of this up for pre-order. I, I don't have service most of the days on Fridays, and so some of these things I'm late to, which is why we're making the news video for this morning on the Saturday morning here. But if you get into this, it does say black and white, so I'm guessing this is going to be a repaint of the same figure. It'll have the same head sculpt, and we knew that they were going to be pumping out. We knew that they would pump out a lot of CM Punks, but we did not know that there was a chase coming right here. So I'm guessing it will look identical to the Macho Man Punk, but one thing that should be different is it's going to be black and white gear. It's just going to be a standard gear here. Now we do know in the top picks wave later on, we're getting that Madison Square Garden first appearance CM Punk that's plain Jane. But this one seems like it's going to be the black and white, like the white stars or the white stripes with the black tights, which should be a pretty good figure. I think it's going to be a good standard elite punk. And there's so many CM Punks coming, man. Like, I, I swear to Jesus, uh, any punk collector should be excited because they're going to give us a, a just shish ton of CM Punks. All the different moments from back in the day. I think we're going to get elites and ultimates of all of his different iconic gears. I'm hoping we get the Yankees gear. I'm hoping we get the G.I. Joe gear, possibly. I'm hoping that we get every single gear that we possibly want out of CM Punk because he is back and I think they need to capitalize on that. So hopefully we will see it. But that is an interesting take. Didn't know about that Chase CM Punk, man. But I think that is all the news that we had here today, man. From the Vault Series number 4, as well as a ton of pre-orders. I do, actually, I want to put this up before we get out of here. I want to show, talk about all the stuff going up for pre-order right here. So on this pre-order sheet, you are going to see that we do have a ton of stuff, man. Let's get into it. Well, real quick before we talk about the pre-orders, I want to talk about this new, apparently, Costco set. This is a new Costco Knuckle Crunchers ring set. It's WrestleMania 39. It comes with Cody Rhodes, Seth Rollins, John Cena, and Roman Reigns. Pretty cool set. I'm definitely going to try and track this down. Seth Rollins has his Mania 39 gear. Cody Rhodes has his Mania 39 gear. You have Roman Reigns in a promo attire again, and then you have John Cena in his essential WrestleMania 39 gear, even though he's only wearing white wristbands for whatever reason. They couldn't figure out the paint apps there, but this is a pretty sweet set. I'm definitely buying that. I'm going to find a way to buy this because I've become a knuckle cruncher completionist now. I really like this line. They're fun figures, so I will be trying to track this down. But I thought this was a pretty cool thing. You have all the cool art and all the accessories that come with the ring, and it's got the launch in ring. Those rings are so fun, and I may actually do a video series on my channel where we kind of do a, a rumble with those. I'll kind of explain that, but I swear to Jesus, I almost did it the other day because it was very fun. It's something me and my me and my kids do. It's very fun. I, I can't explain it. Maybe we'll make a video out of it. But the next thing I want to talk about is all the stuff for, up for pre-order. So Main Event Showdown Series number 20. You have Finn Balor and Damian Priest. You have The Miz and Gunther. And you have Stone Cold and Kevin Owens. I don't know what all these figures entail. I don't know what the head sculpts are going to look like. Look at that Finn Balor head sculpt right there, man. You're telling me we still haven't seen that in Elite form. Look at that. Look at the beard. Look at the hair. Just ridiculous. But we also have Main Event Series 153 featuring Rhea Ripley, Duke Hudson, Jey Uso, Mr. Perfect, and Cody Rhodes. I do believe we saw all of these on display at San Diego Comic-Con, so you will be able to track these guys down there if you guys are interested in that. If you go through the images of Comic-Con and you look at the basics, all these figures should be in the case. So this entire set was at San Diego Comic-Con. We also have Basic Series 152 featuring Liv Morgan, Seth Rollins, Ricky Steamboat, Stone Cold, and Batista. All these figures also 
were featured at San Diego Comic Con. So if you guys want to know what these figures look like, I don't know if they have them. Like these are up for pre-order. They're listed on the website. I don't know if they included images is the thing. So you'll have to go in there and look. And uh, that that set is also up for pre-order as well as the real scale ring with Rhea Ripley, the Ultimate Edition. This is up for pre-order right now. I'm still bummed out that you have to buy the damn ring to get this figure, but you know, it, it is what it is, man. I am, I am looking forward to the Rhea Ripley, obviously. Been waiting on an Ultimate of her, but I am pretty bummed out that it comes with a ring. I just, like, this is such a, a home run Ultimate Edition in the main line, and they put it with the ring. It just makes me vomit. But we also have Elite 114 and 13 that are also up for pre-order. So Elite 114, Zoe Stark, The Usos, Elia Dragunov, Braun Breaker, Tommaso Ciampa, all up for pre-order. I don't think we've ever even seen what the Ciampa looks like, but I'm sure it'll give you a description on the Ringside Collectibles website. And then we do have Elite 113 featuring what we've already talked about here that you guys can get in on. And the last two pre-orders that we have is the WrestleMania 41 Elites featuring Rollins and his WrestleMania 39 gear, Bianca Belair and her WrestleMania 39 gear, Hulk Hogan and the Chillin' Out of the Con figure that we talked about at San Diego Comic-Con, you know, the Elite 34 re-release. And then you have Bret Hart with his black singlet over the black or over the pink tights that was featured in the packaging at San Diego Comic Con. So all of that stuff is up for pre order as well as the ring play set, the Survivor Series War Game set with Butch. All of that stuff is up for pre-order. Not everything brand new, but a lot of stuff is up there, man. If you guys want to go over there and grab all that stuff, it is certainly up there for you. Use code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%, but that is pretty much going to wrap up the video for today, man. I hope you guys did enjoy. Woke up to a ton of news, man. I mean, last night was a late night for me. Again, don't have a lot of service on Friday nights at the moment, so I woke up and I saw this different news and I wanted to talk about it here today because it, it's certainly worth talking about. From the Vault Series 4, don't know how I feel about it. We'll have to wait till we see the figures, but I don't know. Let me know what you think of all that down in the comment section below but a huge shout out to our patreon members man appreciate you fellas thank you guys so very much again for all of your support you guys are absolutely goaded thank you guys so very much for the support as always you guys are amazing I hope you guys have a blessed weekend i'm getting the hell out i'll see you guys in the next video have a blessed one i'll catch you guys later peace out oh and roll tide